stuff. And by the way, cheers to rodeo season. Cheers we can't let this be ignored. <laughs> oh, I might have taken a few sips. My, mine looks a little less full than yours. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, good thing you didn't tasting. give up champagne for Lent again this oh, year. Oh, no, that was last year. That was last year. I have to tell you, after dinner last night, though, man, did I want a sweet. Oh, Ugh. don't worry, just 39 more days. I know, I did scroll and put some stuff in my Amazon cart. Didn't check out, but it felt good. Is that okay to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. I know, day one isn't going so well. Don't worry, you're gonna make it. I will be there to cheer you on. What do you think of the bubbles? Listen, this is very nice. Of course, I'm so glad we have the large bottle of the Piper Heidsick. Yeah, and it tastes nice because the Piper Heidsick was Best of show. Best of show for Rodeo Uncorked. It's a fantastic bottle, and nice. you can get this at HEB. Can you hear that? That is real glass. This is not a plastic prop. No, it's not. It's just empty, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is unfortunately empty. I drank it all before the show. But this was the booth that I was uh, telling our viewers about the other night when I went to Rodeo Uncorked Best Bites, the food and wine event yes. where you can go through and taste 450 different wines, oh, so more than good. 100 different restaurant vendors, catering vendors. We had such a good time. We missed you. I know you were out of town. I know. Night. I was in Chicago, and, and that is a fun event. I'm really sad that I wasn't there because it's so fantastic. And the amount of people and the volunteers and the restaurants and everybody that goes there and puts this entire thing together, it's huge. But Piper Heidsick won Best of Show. Yeah. And this bottle is less than $40. You can get it at HEB right now. It's on, uh, it, actually, all of the wines. This taro you can get there. The rest of them that have that placed within Rodeo Uncorked. If you buy a certain amount, you get a discount, which we, we all love buying them there oh, at yeah. HEB. So, and they have these little tags on them, so you know exactly where they placed in the in competition. The oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, also, we should point out this ale, because this is something I didn't realize. HEB sponsors the Mutton Bustin'. So you can pick up this dry hopped wheat ale. It even has the mutton bust in here. Let me try. I this think so that is see. so cute. Look at that. I love it. A little I love the bust in ale. So brewed with blessed water in an old church, mm. folks. So this is truly blessed beer, you could say. A six pack is nine dollars and thirty seven cents. So that's cool. Yeah, I love that. And then this uh, taro cabernet. Uh, very nice. It's it's smooth. It's light, um, and I'm sorry. It's not light. It's quite dense, but it has a little bit of hint of. Do you hear? Get the mission figs out of that little chocolate. Oh, nice, huh? I just read that. I wish I really knew what it was. It but does sort of taste nice and chocolatey. Hints of black violets and mission figs. I'll All take right. twelve.